Age of Mythology is a game of heroes and monsters, mighty armies and epic deeds. Lead your culture through the ages, from humble beginnings in a small village, to mighty citadels protected by the power of the gods. Tear down the walls of Troy. Battle giants in the frozen wastes near Midgard. And fight armies of Anubites in the shifting sands of Egypt. The gods, as a token of appreciation, may someday reward you with great earth-changing powers in Age of Mythology. Today, your task is a simple one. The hero, Arkantos, has sailed to an island far from his home in Atlantis, seeking the Cyclops. The slaying of this mythical beast will bring great glory to Arkantos and his hunters. But before we take on the mythical creature, we must learn how to mark. Left click on Arkantos to select him. Hello guys! We are... Learning how to play Asian mythology. Left -click a unit yes, woman. It. Yes, yes. So, I don't know this game very well. I have played it when I was younger. Just uh, like, I think I played the Arcantus campaign. I don't think I even finished it. But I'm a little bit familiar. But it's so long ago, I don't think I remember much. Um, now right -click near the blue flag to move along the path. Yeah, so pretty much, this is just an introduction for myself. I figured I'd bring you guys sure about along the journey Check with me. Objectives banner. Click the flashing objectives banner to see your current goal. As you wish. Move your mouse to the top of the screen. Continue to along the path to the next flag. To the next Difficulty flag. Titan. Oh well boy. Done. Right click the ground near the next flag to keep moving down the beach. All right. So far so good. This is very similar to William Wallace. Drag a box around our cantos and all of the hunters are now selected and will move in a group. Continue down the path to the next flag. It is very, very similar to William Wallace's campaign so far. Yet explored this part of the island. So part of the path is still hidden in darkness. Indeed. The black area represents. Are you talking too much at the same time, woman? See the next flag. I see skeletons on the ground. All right, let's carry on. So we have the diamond shaped window at the bottom right corner of yes. the screen. This is the mini map. Mm -hmm. The mini map shows you where you are and also places you haven't explored yet. Mm -hmm. Left clicking on the mini map will instantly move the view in the main game window. Mm -hmm. All right, then. When you're ready, continue down the path and seek out the Cyclops. All right, then. We have our Cantos and we have three regular units with us. We'll just carry on to meet the Cyclops. I assume we'll just... I did go through the half keys and adjusted it a little bit more. I don't know the buildings though, so like... Oh. To attack, make sure your units are selected. Then right click on the Cyclops. I'm saying I don't know the buildings and stuff yet, but I made them like similar to Age of Empires 2. <laughs> so we'll get used to it along the road. But yeah, regardless, I think we are strong enough to take this. And also, he has this bonus thing where his the units get boosted or something when he attacks. Which is quite a cool thing, I think. Wrecked! I predict... Oh, well that was, that was simple. I predict a lot of dead heroes throughout this, uh, this journey, as is our trademark. Okay, let's see. Step 2. Arcantas, you're gonna die a lot under my command. Okay, this is our town center. The gods, you must gather 100 food, 100 wood, and 100 gold. Then build a temple. The displays in the bottom left corner of the screen show that you already have some food. But if you can control the pigs here, wait. You've trained a villager. To gather resources, left click on a villager to Why is the food going up on this pig? Is that resource? For example, and the goats, the what? Goats are a good source of food. Well done. Thank you. The villager will continue to gather food until you tell him to stop. Are they like eating grass and stuff and therefore increasing their food? Is that like the thing here? Oh! 
Thank you. Select another village. Is that how this game works? Do they actually like? Now gather wood for the members. Only villagers can gather resources. Mhm. She's talking so much. I mean, it makes sense because she's trying to teach me the game. But okay, so what do we need again? Unsure about what to do next. Check the objectives banner. Do you have the flashing objectives banner to see? I was unsure, but now I know. We need wood, and we need. We garrison in this. Okay, this is, is this this is town center. How do I garrison? What? That's what I clicked earlier. Oh, I don't have a, a hotkey for that apparently. Oh, okay, makes sense. Need to fix that. I feel like we'll probably need that as the game goes on. How much? It's so weird to have the resources down in the bottom left. I'm so used to it being in the top. Where the control groups are being shown right now, right now. But yeah, we don't need food anymore. So let's just get the wood and the gold. Oh, the flag's even shown on the minimap. All right. I'm curious also to see like how much more developed this game was. I mean, compared to H1 Price 2 in terms of game mechanics, there was a big improvement there as well. Bring us to gold, boys. You have plenty of gold. Yes. Well done. Thank you. You have the resources to build a temple. Yes. Select a villager. Yes. Notice the buttons at the bottom left side of the screen. Look how smooth it is. It's like rebuild everywhere. Yes. Such as houses and granaries. Yes. Left click the temple yes. button. The villager that built the temple has started to worship, and your favor is increasing. Yes. Additional worshippers will make your favor rise more rapidly. Oh! Select additional villagers, then right-click the temple. It's even chain command. Like I can deliver and then go there with shift-click. That's sweet. That's sweet. I didn't know they were... Oh! Well, there we go. I didn't know it was that... Uh, that we had chain commands even and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Let's see, this is the third one. The chips. Those might be His head is weird. <laughs> we'll Look at his head, man. So weird. All right. Arkantos and the other hunters are mighty warriors. Oh, look at my resources. Create a larger army if you aim to defeat the pirates. But first, since you already have a temple, you should advance to the next age. Select the town center. The flashing button allows you to advance to the next age. Click it now. The choice of minor god determines which mythical creatures you can summon and what right. powers the gods grant you. You can only pick one minor god to follow for each age, so choose carefully. Once you have made your choice, left click the image of one of the gods yes. to begin advancing to the next age. Okay. This is where I'm gonna struggle because I don't know the game. I don't know what these things do, so I'm gonna have to. I'll probably spend time doing these things. I have to select the age and stuff. This is a god power, right? So is the curse. Enemy soldiers or villagers to turn several of their units into pigs. <laughs> uh, target their location to turn the skin of your and allied soldiers into ships and ships to bronze, reducing their vulnerability during combat. That sounds good. Is that a permanent thing or is it temporary? I don't know. We can make hydras here and we can make Nemian lions. They cost gold, god power, takes four population, these cost food, god power or fate or whatever you call it, <clears throat> and five population. Okay, okay, these are upgrades I assume. Or is it? Eh, I'm not sure. Whatever. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna go with Dionysus, god of wine and celebration. His improvements aids your cavalry. Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, her improvements aid your villagers. I don't care for my villagers. This is going way faster than it's supposed to, right? You can send additional villagers to help build the academy by selecting a group and right-clicking the foundation of the academy. 
but make sure to leave a few Was gathering the resources. The Academy is complete. Now, select it. Click the flashing button to train a hoplite. Clicking multiple times will queue up several hoplites to train What's one hop key for a hoplite. For now, train four hoplites to help defend Does the it camp. not show? You have reached your population limit. In Do I not have a hotkey for them? Population limit, order a villager to build a house. Select a villager. The house button is flashing. Select it and place it. I'm clicking E. Why does it not work? Hello? That's weird. I'm clicking E. Like it says hotkey E. House. It doesn't work to click. Well done. Confusing. Each house will increase your maximum population, but you're limited to 10 houses. To further increase your population limit, you could claim additional settlements such as this one. Select a villager. Click the flashing button. Most buildings can be placed anywhere, but a town center can only be built on a settlement. Place the new town center as if you were placing another building. But instead of a sentry tower would help us spot the pirates when they approach. The flagged location would be an excellent place to build a sentry tower. Select that works. The, the house does not work. Ah, oh, because uh, I think I put the formation hotkey on E. Makes sense. It's interfering hotkeys. I'll fix that. Hyperspist. Hyperspist. Excellent. Now we'll see them coming. You will. For extra protection, you should improve your tower. Select the tower. The flashing button will improve all of your towers to watch towers. Left click it now. One step ahead of you. Mythical creatures are summoned from your temple and can be extremely effective against the enemy's human soldiers and buildings. Mm -hmm. Select the temple. It's the flashing building near the center of your village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have enough favor and other resources to summon a centaur. Sure. A centaur is very fast and an excellent ranged unit. He will help us scout the island and locate the pirate camp. Summon a centaur. How fast do you get faith though in like a regular game? How many deals? Uh, well, I mean, we'll figure these things out as we go. This is actually helpful for me. I know it's very, very noob. Hi. Click the flashing town bell. Why? <laughs> when the town bell rings, your villagers take shelter in the nearest town center or watchtower. Go back to work. Yeah, it's actually helpful for me just to like learn a couple you things. Off the pirates' initial attack. Now send all of your villagers back to work. Select the town center. Click the flashing button. Uh. Your villagers will leave the safety of the town center and return to their tasks. Okay. I guess. You have trained enough soldiers to defeat the pirates. Their What's camp the is located man? here. Gather your army together and send them to attack. Wait, is there attack move on this? You with the meteor power. Oh. God powers can be used at any time and can completely change the course of battle. However, they can only be used once. Show the pirates what the power of the gods can do. Left click the flashing meteor button. Then left click somewhere in the pirate camp. Oh boy, oh boy, this will be beautiful. Bam! Bam, bam, bam. Come on, let's go. Yeah! Whoa! They're flying! This guy's left. He seems awfully. They seem awfully chilled. Regard, considering how many explosions are going on around them. I mean, they both have. Oh, what? They all have 1 HP. Is that it? Like, I don't see any attack move or patrol options yet. Very dramatic music though, considering we're just taking out some attempts. I guess that's it for this one? Victory I didn't mean to get that loud. This one! Alright. Alright, alright. Basics, very, very similar to, um, oh, advanced to main campaign. So we completed the learn to play. We are now confirmed professional Age of Empires mythology. Well, no, not Age of Empires. Age of Mythology is the word. Players. So, basics, very similar to Age of Empires 2. 
There are some god powers and stuff. Obviously, I have to get used to units. I have to adjust my hotkeys so I can do that. But this is uh, this was just the start to let you guys know that we are in the process of getting ready for Asian Mythology campaign. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to leave you guys here and I'll see you guys next time for the actual start of the main campaign of Asian Mythology. <laughs>